hey guys welcome back to my channel um you guys uh today is today actually today and um my name is nj by the way if you're just tuning in for the first time and today is a sit at home here in the east i'm currently in newi anambra state and we're not supposed to go anywhere today we're not supposed to go out uh we're all going to sit at home and just you know in honor of all uh you know lost biafian um warriors you know the um, Easterners we lost during the Biafran war so yes um, in this video I'm just going to take you through my day you know how you know uh, um, we're going to spend this seat at home here the activities we're going to do and yeah I'm just about to go take a bath you know and when I come back we're going to have a little chat and then yeah I'll just take you guys along the day so yes um, I hope you enjoyed this video um, yeah just sit back um, relax and I'll be right back Nigeria, my country. They don't have that yet in the hospital. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, I'm here. Andy, good morning. How are you? Hi. Hope you had a good night. Sandra is saying hi. Hi, Sandra. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Happy um, stay at home day. Sit at home. <laughs> Guys, um, yeah, like I, I mentioned earlier, today is Monday. It's the sit at home day, you know. Um, and, you know, um, I kind of have mixed feelings about this whole thing. Yes, I absolutely agree. It's a good idea to, you know, honor our fallen heroes and all that. But then at the same time, you know, saying that no one should go out, no matter what, that if you're seen outside, you will not be, you know, stopped to ask. Um, you will not be asked, like, why are you out and all that, and you will just be shot dead. I think that's a bit too extreme because, you know, how about essential workers like doctors, nurses, you know, medical practitioners that need to go to work every day, you know, to take care of the sick, you know. Um, <coughs> There are still some people who are, you know, at the hospital right now whose um, families will have to, you know, go in and out and all that. Let's, for example, Sandra, her brother is currently at the hospital and they're at the hospital and sometimes the doctors may, like, um, prescribe a drug or something that the hospital pharmacy wouldn't have and they will need to go out to get the drugs and all that. What of, in, you know, cases of emergencies, like, what would happen? And so if someone needs to get to the hospital or somewhere, you know, and... What of women who go into labor today? Women who are already at home, currently at home, and they go into labor today. Would they give birth at home without any medical personnel around or anything like that? Like, how about all that? I think that um, they would have considered all this, you know. You know, at least when, yes, we should stay at home to honor our fallen heroes, yes. But then, you know, if, you, if, if someone were to be seen outside, you know, just give them the benefit of the doubt. Ask them what they're doing out and I think essential workers should be allowed to you know go to work and you know save lives like um, this whole this whole thing shouldn't you know lead to more li loss of um, lives and all that I think you know <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Do you guys get what I'm trying to say? You know, um, I know that a lot happened during the Biafran War. I actually stayed up last night reading up on the um, Biafran War. This is something I'd never done before. And gosh, the things that I found out, oh my God, it was just so hard breaking over a hundred thousand Biafrans were killed like were shot dead over two million people mostly children died of starvation over 4.5 million people were displaced from their homes over 3 million people became refugees and also like on October 7 1967 the Nigerian army summoned you know uh, citizens of Asaba you know calling them you know telling them to chant one Nigeria and these people they came out dressed in white you know chanting singing and they were all massacred and after that the nigerian soldiers actually w invaded asaba ripped the women destroyed their properties killed young men and boys they just wrecked havoc and they also did the same thing in onicha 
God, I was just going through this. I was just reading through. I went to Twitter. On Twitter, there were lots of people, you know, putting up things as well. And it was just so heartbreaking to think that something like this happened in Nigeria and, you know, nobody acknowledges it you know i actually think that this whole stay at home order should be like a nationwide thing not just something you know that happens in the east but then it should be well thought out and all that no shooting on of anyone on site and all that at least essential workers can go to work and you know in case of emergencies and all that if you have to be out you can be out but like mostly it should be a public holiday you know just to honor the our fallen heroes and all that because this is something that happened in a nation nigeria so why is it only you know done here in the east this happened to nigeria right and we are one nigeria right shouldn't we all be honoring our fallen heroes shouldn't we all so yeah like i said i have mixed feelings about this whole stay at home thing but anyways i'm happy to be home i'm happy i'm here in Inewi. um but yeah you know the thing i didn't plan for was food I w i'm just home here with china here and chimes it's just the three of us and really sincerely i don't have energy to go into the kitchen to cook anything yesterday i planned to go out you know and get myself maybe um biscuits you know drinks and all that just something to nibble on you know throughout today but i didn't get to it i forgot and now i'm just here i'm hungry but yeah i'm in my village is uru right and in uru we have about four gates you know four entrances and normally they lock the four gates yeah and my uncle's house is what less than a minute away from my house so i'll just monitor things if those gates are locked i may just you know head to my uncle's house and just stay there till evening or something like that before i come back home but if not sure i can just I will just stay at home. Hunger will not kill me now for one day plus. I'm sure there's something to cook. I'll just go and, you know, butter chin hair up so that she'll make something for all of us to eat. Yeah, that's it. That's it for now. I think I'm just going to go inside, watch TV, and just, I don't know, these days, it's, it's, let me see, what's the time right now? It's 10.29 a.m everywhere is so quiet can you guys like everywhere is so quiet there's no time i ever come here to maybe film a video or something and there won't be bikes moving up and down or people honing and all that so it's quiet and i really like that so yeah let me just go inside and see what Naya is up to so chine Andrew. you make food you made food Andrew. for just see this is the person i was saying let me come and Andrew. see if she she will have food Andrew. see her eating alone Chine, yeah? mm -hmm. I wasn't telling YouTube that that's your boyfriend. Imagine. No, <laughs> Chine, yeah? mm -hmm. you're mean like this. Let me put flash so that they will see you well. You people see her well. She's eating. So that I just said, let me come and butter you up so that you make something for us to eat. Mm -hmm. You are the one eating alone. Mm -hmm. Chine, yeah? mm -hmm. <laughs> Chine, yeah. Come on, my, 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 my. I thought it was Chimez. Where is Chimez? Eh? I'm just smelling it. So you're just Passing here with me. us today. Mm. That's good. Chine, mm. Chine, mm. Chine, mm. Chine mm. wicked girl. Mm. What will you cook today, I beg? I say in water. Give me a sit down. I say you're not sumo, you bo. What will you cook today? No problem. I, I, you know how I will pay. I'll pay in kind. I don't eat in kind. What can I give you kind? Ne kind. of kind. How could you find that? Oh, kind the kego. Kind the kego. Yes. Jesus. Oh no, Please, I'm hungry. Chine, come. Let's go look for food. See, I am, but you ate alone. I will torment you with this camera today. Ma torment I will torment you and torment you with the camera today. You've eaten, eat alone and die alone. Nonsense, rubbish. <laughs> okay. So two of that's when you start cooking. Us that we are here, we should die of hunger. Chine, you're me, no. I'll leave you here and go to baby's house. Yeah. <laughs> I told you I'll torment you today. You ate alone. You didn't remember me. Yeah. Nonsense. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, he would have gone now. I don't know, so that he would tell us if outside people are walking, so that me I will go. You lock it. You don't fear. You don't fear. Why now? I bet, I bet, just help me go outside small. Look, no weather people they walk. <laughs> you don't want to go. <laughs> oh my God, what are we going to do today? I'm hungry. I wish I could do. Baby's house is less than a minute away. Can't I just go? I'll be like, I can't see no more than two. You tell me I'll be at the gym then. Go away, see you. You guys, I don't know what to do. I'm hungry. And new Puja said, she said, it's by 12 o'clock she'll start cooking. So that we should wait for her. When you go, go, only you yes, move by yourself. You wait for Chinese to start cooking. But I know there's like plenty of food in my uncle's house right now. Plenty. And it's just a, less than a minute away from here. I can see the roof from my house. Like, let me show you guys. See. See the roof of my uncle's house. See it right there. I can literally see the roof. It's so close. It's just one one minute away. There's nothing I can do. I don't want to go out and be the scapegoat. So let me just monitor small more and no and see if I can actually just run there. I won't go with cow. I'll just go with leg. I'll run. Run to the house. Chine. So you're serious. You've come here, you've balanced. So you're not going to cook anything till 12. Nay, nah, please now come, let's go to the kitchen. And maybe sit on now. I came to the you people's house. One hour. One hour time. I, I came to you people's house and you're not treating me well. You people's house. It's you people's house now. <laughs> this is that's house. not fair. That's this not fair. This is you people's house so, that I came to. Your husband house. I'll have your time. That's not fair. It is all. That's not fair. It's not at home. Let me go and look for what to cook now. Even if I we're hungry now. It's because you've eaten now. You've eaten five potato and pap. Enjoy, yeah? And we were here, hungry. Why are you doing this to me? Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm not in love, Omo. I'm not in love. I'm not in love. It is well. It is well. In fact, I'm going to watch what I want, not what you want. Nonsense. Seafood is this on my own with plenty of soup? You know, I love soup. Oh, my fork. Okay. Oh, no, yeah. God bless you. Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah, food. Oh, my God, you guys. Food is here. Food is here. I'm so excited. God, I've been so hungry. I've been up here in my room for what? Two hours, or uh, almost two hours, or two hours, or almost two hours. And I've just been watching Lucifer. But yes, food is here, and I'm about to eat. Oh, yeah, yeah, let me eat, you guys. Let me eat. Oh, thanks to Naya, you guys. Naya is a YouTuber as well. Naya's diary. Please head over to her channel and say a big thank you to her for feeding me today. I'm going to leave the link to her channel in my description box. So, yeah, let me enjoy my food and I'll catch up with you guys later. See so, our chef. She's making dinner for us. <laughs> thank you. I'm heading out. Let me, not out like in front of the house <laughs> you guys um, um downstairs i just came out there is preparing dinner for us was such a good girl and i'm still trying to see if you know i can go to my uncle's house i can hear bikes and noise right now on the streets it's evening already so yeah everywhere is noisy i think people are walking around Uru now so um, i'm just going to head out to my uncle's house and yeah today all in all today was 
to be sincere, it was just like my normal day, you know. I love to stay at home. And while I'm at home, I just watch movies and all that. Like, it's my perfect way to relax and, you know, yeah. So it was a good day for me, a really good day. I relaxed. I, I got some much needed rest. I slept at some point. So, yeah. Um, so now I'm just going to try to go to my uncle's house. So, you guys, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. And if you did, please don't forget to like, comment, share. And of course, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Bye.